Welcome to another video of um, Easy Life. Uh, today I just got another box of delivery from Amazon. Uh, one of our, of our favorite store or online um, uh, store. Today I have here. Let's see if I can show it to you. This is an unbox of Android 4.0. No, this is not a cell phone, but it does look like a cell phone. Um, this is actually a TV stick and surprisingly uh, made in China. Um, this is basically a small PC per what the, the box says here. It's actually internet TV. Uh, it's this mini PC uh, right on the bottom here. And this particular stick is um, actually has a memory uh, card, actually a, a motherboard and some memory chips. And it looks like this um, Android 4.0 mini PC. Um, this particular stick, uh, let me show you what's around. Has a USB port. Uh, there's a micro USB port again. And on the other side, um, it seems to be a mini USB, a mini HDMI port. I'm not so sure. And then there's another port for another. Uh, mini SD card I believe I'm not so sure um, there is a way to unplug this I believe uh, there you go there is the HDMI port so I'm not sure on the other side what is that so let me put this aside and inside the box looks very similar to iPhone 5 box inside there is oops, it's um, there's a um, HDMI Cable. A USB cable, a USB dongle, and a set of instructions. Let me give you some spec on the mini PC. This is using a um, ARM 1 GHz Cortex A8. Uh, A8. Uh, has a 3D GPU inside uh, this particular um, PC itself. It has a DDR512 megabytes of um, DDR. There's a 4 gigabyte of flash, and the color is black. Um, and it has running an Android 4.0. The recent one is at 4.1, so this is pretty, I would say, recent. Um, what else is there? Um, this particular port is the HDMI AV out to the TV. Um, this is a USB host for pen drive, mouse, and keyboard. Now, in order to operate this, you do need a, a mouse to control um, the features. Um, there is a mini USB for data transfer uh, with computer. Um, there is a TF card. Uh, could be expanded to. Uh, T flash memory. Um, now all I need to do is just plug in, uh, plug into the um, port in on my TV and uh, get a uh, mouse to control it and see how that goes. One of the neat thing about this mini PC is it has a wireless 802.11 uh, BG. So once you plug it in, uh, you can connect to your home wireless and be able to use it right away. Here is a mini PC um, that I tried to install and actually plug it into the HDMI port on my TV and it did not turn on and then I realized that um, because it's not powered. So I read the instructions again and it came with this um, USB attachment. Uh, I think it's a good idea because it does allow you to plug it in and um, have extra length. Next, I take the USB cable that came with it. Um, the TV, uh, uh, the good thing about the TV that I have, it has a USB at, um, for me to plug in and, and it is powered. So I take the USB cable, plug into the top, and plug in uh, everything on the TV. I have, um, again, the, US, uh, the HDMI attached, and I'm gonna plug it plug in on one of the HDMI port. Right, so 
Next, I take the USB cable to power the unit and I'm going to plug into the USB port right over here and immediately you could see that it's powered by a blue light here. Next, I switch the source to HDMI 3 which is highlighted here and there you have it, Android 4.0 and ready to go. And obviously my TV is not touch screen and in order to put in any input, I have to supply an input option. Ideally, you're supposed to use a um, wireless keyboard or mouse um, that you can set up to control the unit. Uh, but I found a Logitech um, controller that I have for a couple of years I never used so I just want to try this out and plug into the USB port right here and uh, surprisingly uh, the actual control unit is able to control the screen as you can see here when I switch back and forth uh, the only bad thing is I don't know which button to press to um, enter the text uh, all I can do is just click on some, some of the icon by moving back and forth The other option that I have is I have this portable um, keyboard that I bought and again a while ago for another tablet. Uh, this is USB keyboard and um, I bought this again from Amazon for about $10. And I plug it to the port similarly right over here. I'm able to use the keyboard because Android 4.0 is smart enough to understand the command on the, uh, uh, the keyboard. As you can see I'm able to switch screen. Uh, and, and again the challenge is you have to relearn uh, the entire keyboard because we all know in uh, Android you are able to use touchscreen but the keyboard you can so you have to learn some of the command. As you can see I have set up the wireless earlier and I'm able to get a good connection uh, from this little um, PC and able to surf net, internet without any problem. Uh, my next step is to get a wireless keyboard and be able to log, uh, plug it in and be able to use this particular uh, mini PC on Android and use YouTube, check email and play some apps. A lot of the apps are touch based so most of the apps you can use a keyboard and um, uh, mouse to play but who knows so there you have it. This is an unbox and demo of a 4.0 Android mini PC that I bought online for $35. Now if you search online, there are quite a number of um, companies that are making a uh, little motherboard like this uh, and Linux bakes um, and you can search around and you do find quite a few. But this is the, the one of the cheapest one that I could, I could find online and easily readily available. Um, like I said, I bought it from Amazon for $35 and I think it's a good deal assuming that it doesn't break right away. Um, hopefully you like this video, uh, you get a sense of what's in the box and what to expect and how to get it to operate. If you like this video, please click on the like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.